Hello guys, this is another video on Terraform. We are going little deeper in Terraform concepts. We will talk about Terraform input and output variables and the standard file layout or structure. Let's jump into the demo. I have written a new code. Here we are going to create a resource group, a network just like earlier video. As you see on my screen, I have created a file called main.tf and the old file also I have opened sample az.tf the provider looks same and resource like azure rm resource group and azure rm virtual network both look same but a little bit twist here the subscription id on the left side screen as you see i am defining as var dot something whereas the right hand side says hard coded values okay let's close the old file now and discuss about terraform variables and how we can pass the values to variables so as you see in my left side screen there are a couple of new files which were not there in earlier demonstration i have created one file which is called variable.tf so this is the file not necessarily you have to name it as variables.tf you can name it anything or even you can define the same thing in a single file itself you do not need to create multiple files but as per best practice you can create separate files so that easy to maintain the codes throughout its life cycle if we are managing through git okay now coming to variables i have replaced the hard coded values with variables as you see var dot subscription id so subscription id is my variable name here so i have defined variable and subscription id this is my identifier or variable name type is optional by default it will be denoted as string and there is another parameter called default this is also optional default means if you do not pass any values for that variable the default value will always be taken third one is also an optional description this is a random text subscription id i got it from my variables definition next i am creating one resource group and i need resource group name that is also variableized i have defined rg name as the variable name as you see i have not defined any type any default value or there is no description for that so just to demonstrate there are different types which you can use and different ways of declaring variables i need a location to deploy my resource group earlier that was also hard coded i think it was east to west or something like that now i have defined a variable type called map map means a key value pair if you are familiar with any other programming language like python it is called dictionary so basically you create a set of records with key value pair you provide the key and get the value from that variable so it is similar i'll show you how the structure looks like next one is i am creating the virtual network as earlier video the name of that virtual network i have kept it as hard coded just to show you not everything has to come from variable if anything required you can very well hard code it depends on your purpose next i need a resource group to deploy my virtual network and i have already created a resource group just in earlier resource block okay i am referring to that azure rm resource group dot rg rg means this identifier so this is how from another block you can call previous block so for example once rg is created i can refer its values going forward in any code or in the project itself my network name is now hard coded i have referred the rg and location from rg block itself now i need address space or CID range where do I get that I can easily hard code it but now I have defined another type of variable which is list list of values anything it can be boolean value it can be integer it can be a string anything so this is my definition only if you do not specify a default value you have to pass that value from several sources there are few methods by which you can assign values to terraform one very popular method is terraform.tfverse 
so you can create one file called terraform.tfverse not necessarily terraform.tfverse you can put any value.tfverse that will also be taken the first variable is subscription id i am not passing any values i am taking the default one just to show you if you do not specify any value the default value whichever written over that it will be taken next one is my rg name i am passing a value from tfverse file next comes the location map as you see i have created a key value pair for example and if i give a key like apac the value east us oh sorry it should be east asia anything that doesn't matter it has no relation with that you can specify any value just to demonstrate you you can fetch value dynamically using a map type variable in my code what i have done is where is my location yeah so where dot location where means fetching any variable value what is my variable name that is location how do i get the value i have to specify the key any key either it be apac mr or ema so i have specified ema similarly if you see virtual network the name is hard coded the resource group and location is being taken from the previous block and address space i have defined this address space as a list i have defined three values you can define any values for your purpose and the positioning for it, it can it can be treated as array okay array of values so it starts with zero as usual zero one two three and goes on so for example if i want the second position which is 20 dot something dot something it should be position one or the second one so i have defined where dot cidr range and the position this is how you get a list variable and its corresponding value so this is how you define your variable and pass your values from terraform.tfverse there are other ways in next videos i will be talking about that before doing the demo i have to create one service principle and why is that in earlier video i have shown you that i can use az cli or azure cli and authenticate using azure cli itself and terraform takes care of the authentication from azure cli in this video i am not going to use azure cli i do not even have it installed on my machine what we will be doing now we will be going to azure active directory you can log into portal.azure.com and search for ad you will get azure active directory go to azure active directory and we will be creating one service principle service principle is nothing but a special kind of user which we are using in our daily lives for automation and it is actually being used by any programs or machine or computer now let's go to app registration from the left side menu click on forget about the old one click on new app registration give any name i am giving new underscore spn spn is for service principle and keep rest of the things default click on register it takes a few seconds my principle is created i need the application id over here i can click on this small button to copy it to clipboard let me paste it here i need a secret also to authenticate i do not have any secret created as of now i can click on new client secret give any random description click on add you will be getting one value something like this a random value i have copied that pasted in my environment variable tenant id what is tenant id that is basically your active directory id on microsoft i am already into active directory i can go into overview i can click on this small copy button and i got it and that is already pasted i am just copying three lines let me go to the project folder where i have kept all those files like variables.tf and i can open powershell from outside also but if i type powershell over here the path will automatically be selected now i am into the path i can put ls just to verify all the files are there let me clean my screen and paste these three values only principle do not give you any authorization this is only for authentication to do all 
authentication and authorization effectively you have to provide permissions you can search for subscription i do have in my home screen click on subscriptions i have gone to a subscription let me click on access control click on role assignments then on top click on add button click on add role assignment which role you want to present there are many many roles contributor is kind of a good role to go with click on next click on the plus select member button search for your service principal name which is new spn for me click on select click on review and assign yeah now it is added everything is fine now we can go with the demonstration and before that let me explain another thing as i am creating a subnet also a network interface card we can also have output variables so i have defined one output variable in a file so what i am taking this is my variable name it can be anything a b c d also i am taking azure rm network interface this is my identifier which is nic or nic this is my identifier for that particular resource and i am taking private ip address what it will basically do is it will take the private ip address once it is created dynamically then it will show on your screen now let's get everything into action and let me hit terraform in it as usual now let me do terraform plan wait a little it is going to add four resources nothing to change zero to destroy what are the resources it is going to create it is going to create a network interface card one resource group subnet one vnet okay now next thing is terraform apply so it is asking for value which is yes so it has started so now as you see everything is complete now four has been added nothing changed nothing destroyed and as you see the private ip is being shown on my screen this is coming from the output variable as you see this block is giving the output and there are many uses of output whenever you are using modules in future videos we will be talking about terraform modules and let us check the terraform tf state file very quickly so this is your network interface ip address the name and the resource group virtual network and i think that's all we have created let us go to the screen or console i'm into the subscription let me go to resource groups this is my new resource group which has been created and as you see these are the resources have been created and subnet will be inside the network itself and this is your subnet let me uncomment the section now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a storage account and a container inside that so first you have to create one storage account and the name has to be globally unique not only your in your account look up where dot location your variable name which is map type and if i go to terraform dot verse ema is your north europe and america is east us storage bucket or storage account will be created in east us i'm going to create one container storage account name is coming from the earlier block next i'm going to upload one file to that container and why we wanted to separate out two deployment the purpose is i'll show you terraform is not going to change anything on existing resource it will only create or do the changes wherever we have made any changes so now these three blocks which was commented earlier that means nothing was there now it is going to create three resource for me in azure i am into that powershell let me clean my screen if i put terraform terraform plan hit enter wait a little okay it is going to create one storage account one container and it is going to upload the index file for me let me put terraform apply terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve it also takes a little bit of time okay now everything is complete three has been added nothing changed and nothing destroyed let's move back to azure and hit to refresh storage account has been created let me move to yeah containers and my index file is present over there so that's all now let me give you a quick demo and cut out one code from here so for example your provider and most of the cases your resource group will be a common resource for everything okay let me cut out this save this file let me create another file common.tf 
it can be any name doesn't matter okay i pasted that value let me clean the screen let me put terraform plan now let us see if it is going to detect any changes yeah as you see no changes even if i cut paste any code create a new file and or move it to another file in that project nothing will change if you do not change any value or if you do not remove anything from your code in next videos we'll go more deeper into terraform thanks for watching